Hello everybody, Ian Robson here. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to adjust the capacity of a trailer. So right here, I have the YouTube trailer made by OEB Modding. This is one made by David Oldfield. So what you wanna do is you wanna grab the zip file right here, like so, and you want to extract it. So I use a program called 7-Zip, but you can just extract all in the file folder itself. So I'm just gonna go ahead and extract it here using 7-Zip. And what you're looking for is YouTube trailer. So the, the actual name of the trailer you're going to use. So I'm going to edit this in what's called Notepad++, also a free program as well as 7-Zip. And what you're looking for is this line right here that says capacity. And you can adjust that number right there to whatever you like. Uh, so for example, if you want it to be 15,000 leaders, you can change it to that. Keep in mind that if you do change the capacity of a trailer, it does adjust the weight of the trailer. And it may act differently than before. So keep that in mind when you're fiddling around with the numbers of the capacity uh, because that will adjust the way the trailer acts behind a tractor or a truck. So keep that in mind. Uh, if you're going down, it's usually not a problem. If you're going up, that can create a problem depending on how high you go. So for example, I could probably put this up to 10,000 it might act a little differently, but not too much differently. So keep that in mind. So that is how you adjust the capacity of a trailer. So you adjust that number. So let's say we're gonna go to 10,000. I'm gonna exit out of this. I wanna save it, yes. Okay, we'll close that. And what you wanna do now is you wanna zip these files up without the zip file. So you just go to send to compressed file and you can name this YouTube trailer. We'll call it 10K. And now your trailer can hold 10,000 liters by adjusting the capacity. I hope that was helpful. My name's Ian Robson, and I'll catch you guys later.